Hi there, this is Debbie, and today I'm going to show you how to make my design I've called filigree. And I'm really surprised that it hasn't been used, or I don't think it has, but I did a search on YouTube, Rainbow Loom Filigree, and I couldn't find it. And I really liked the fact that um, I made it, it wound up looking like a hook only design when it's actually a full loom and my battery lights flat. Okay, I'm back with a fresh battery. I think it cut me off a little bit. And as I was saying, I call this filigree. And it is a three bar wide pattern in the standard V-shaped position. And so let's get going. Um, I call in color A like this um, I'll use this one because it's easier. Brown. Brown. Let's see. Wait, no, that's that's. Forget that. Color A, which is the pink. Color B is the border, which is the gold and the white. Three hundred count. And then C, um, you just see popping up little peaks of color, pops of color here, which is the brown. So I am going to start by placing one of the border colors, the B colors, right here. And then we will grab, am I using the color A? I'm using I'm using these um, silicone reds from the Mermaid mix, and then let's see. Wait, am I using? No, no, no. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm using these, and then this I'll use for color C for the little pop of color. Okay. So you'll start by placing one band like this. And you will want to make sure that there's some stretchability to these because a couple of them will be going from like this pin up up to here. So there is um, some stretching going on. And then you come up here and make a V. And you make a diamond. And you place one band and repeat the diamond pattern. Which will be like this. And you'll continue up the loom, and you will end with um, the single band as the last band. And I did go all the way to the end for a full um, full wrap, and it, it fits. It's you know just fits my wrist, so you might have to put an extension or two, but nothing major. Okay. I'll be back to show you the next step. So just continue doing, repeating this pattern. I really like how <laughs> these reds, red bands look in this pattern. I don't know. I just finished placing this. Look, it's really cool. Okay. I actually think the design would have been would probably look nicer if these were here and the red was just peeking up, but. Um, these dual layer bands are a little difficult. The, the galaxy, I think these are the galaxy ones, they have the black on the inside. These work pretty, pretty good. These right here, they've, they're, um, they're not the, um, they're part of the tropical mix and they're a little bit thinner and these tend to twist 
more, so that's why I'm trying the silicone ones here. And I had said that... I'll forget what I said. Just follow my directions and it'll be less confusing. <laughs> the next thing is I'm taking this color that's going to go up the center, the color that peeks out. And by the way, this is the other side. I originally, When I originally designed it, it looked like this on both sides, but I didn't like it. So I played around with it and came up with this up the center. So you're going to place the little peekaboo color just straight up like this. And this band is the one that kind of holds the border bands all together and gives it its pretty filigree look. So, I'll just take a second, well, a few seconds to do this. And we'll, I'll be ready to show you how to place the border bands. I love these bands. I think they're super pretty. I wish they had the 300 count. I mean, I like the 300 count, the turquoise and the gold. But I'd also like it with this brighter blue on the inside. I just think it's such a happy, happy band. Okay, so I'm just going to press these down a little bit, get more room. Go down. Sorry, it's taking a second, but I just want to have plenty of room for the thicker bands. Okay. Now we will take our border bands. And the first thing we are going to do is make a diamond right here. Definitely want to keep these pushed down because it gets piled up on some of these pins as we move it back. Okay, that's the initial setup. After that, it's going to go like this all the way up. You know, one two, and three, one, two, and three. I'll do that a couple more times, but you're going to repeat this all the way to the last pin. You do two up the side, and then one angle. Whoops! How'd you get in there? One angled in, two up the side, and one angled in. I'll do it one more time and then I'll finish off camera. One, two, angle one in, and then do the same on the other side. One, and a two. Come on. And three. All right. I'll be back. All righty. Now that we have all the bands placed, we can cap it, turn it around, and start looming. We will take these first two border bands and 
and just place them back to their home pin. Then we will take this top band going up the center. Next we will take this border band and bring it to this middle pin. And then do the same on the other side. Then we'll bring the center pin up and center band up. Bring the two border bands up. And now we're going to take these two and bring them out. What I do, because um, if you just take it out and you have a thinner band here, watch what happens. See how that all gets all ravelly and rolled up and looks messy? So what I do is this. Go back here. Ah. Okay. Okay. Right from this from getting all, you know, twisted up. Take a second hook. And I just pull it away that I can place this one over here without getting that one all involved. Then I do the same here. If you don't have an extra hook, a bobby pin, paper clip, a toothpick, anything that you can just use your finger just to... And then you also might want to do it here. There's not as much resistance but just to be safe. It keeps this neater looking. Oh, I hate when they twist like that. Okay. So now we'll start the repeat of the pattern. We've got this one up to here. Then we'll take these two border bands to the center pin. Grab this middle band, the two sides, grab your spare hook, And repeat. I'll do it one more time so you have enough footage. But it's very basic. And for whatever reason, you know, what's why you get um, designs that are really like flexible and soft. And this is one of them. It just feels really nice and smooth. My um, Mei Ling was like that. I just remember offhand that that one was like it. But it's very, it's very soft. Okay. Grab these two. I twisted that one a little bit, but hopefully I won't do too much damage in the end product. Okay. So just keep doing that until um, 
whoops, <laughs> these will be the last two bands, these ones that go from here out. Don't, we'll say, don't, don't do these. We'll just save those for last, these last two bands right here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Oops. What did I do? Oh. <laughs> I had myself upside down. Okay. So I did everything up to here, and I'm going to go close the door real quick because my husband's chattering to our puppy, Sander. All right. Now, the final thing we need to do is to loom up all of our, well, my red bands. So we're going to bring this one straight up. Reach under, bring this one to the side, and this one And then you are going to take this one. This is why it needs to be a little stretchy up here. And then come here and do this one. Then bring these out to their home pins. Bring these two. Do you need to zoom in a little bit more? Oops. Bring these way up here. By doing that, it gives um, a little bit of a different design than this. This is what it would look like if we just brought in to the pin, to the, um, if we brought these over here, you know, just to their home pins, it would look like this. But I change it up so that's how it looks when we bring these to a non-home pin. And reach down and grab this one. And you're just going to keep doing this until you're finished. on up there and grab this middle band and do it again. I'll show you one more time. Home pin. Home pin. And these two non-home pin. And then bring this one straight up. Alrighty? I'll meet you at the top of the loom. So now that we're at the end, we have two more bands to loom. Oops. Hold on there. You're going to love the way this design feels. It's just so soft and flexible. Alrighty. And I've taken most of it off. And you will have to do a little bit of this to, you know, untwist a few of the bands but it's you know they pop right into place real quickly and easily the 
you know, doing this again and just switching the red with the turquoise bands. I don't know. So I, I, I like this color combo, but I'm not sure I like the red being the prominent color. What did they call this thing? Oh, yeah, I like <laughs> It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. My husband's cooking a nice ribeye steak for us. I know. He gets home late, so this is when I eat. So there you have filigree. Let's see how this fits on my wrist. Ah, it wants to roll the other way. So it's, you know, it's hard to see, but it's a little large for me. So it should fit everybody else just nicely. Beautiful. Alrighty. And that's what it looks like on this side. If you prefer this, you just have to kind of put little bands in place. But yeah. Here is filigree. Be sure to subscribe if you do like this design. Oh, I look, I made this one. I, oh, let me back up a little bit. I can't get this right. I've had this camera for how many years now? And, okay, this is the full loom length. And so I made this one a little bit shorter because of my, my smaller wrist. So, as I was saying, feel free to subscribe here at Deb's Thing. Or Deb's Thing. And on Instagram at Deb's thing. I would love to have you follow me. Okay, thank you so very, very much for watching.